Hi there, today on this Millennial Review, we're going to talk about how to replace the mulching blade on your lawnmower. This is a 21 inch lawnmower, uh, happens to be made by Craftsman, but there's a bunch of different manufacturers out there, and we're using a Troy Built or MTD uh, 21 inch lawnmower blade to fix this. Uh, it replaces many of the like Husky, Yardman, all those kind of, uh, of lawn mowers. Works properly and most of all it is a mulching blade so it's going to cut up the, the grass and the leaves a little bit more. Now when we're going to install this the first thing we're going to want to do is to actually flip over the lawn mower on its side. It's a good idea to make sure that the lawn mower is cold, you know you haven't been running it and of course, you absolutely don't want it to accidentally turn on or anything like that. But once we have it up on its side, we're gonna wanna take a look at it and get our tools ready to go. The first thing is gonna be removing that center bolt on the lawnmower. In this case, uh, we find the right size socket, take our uh, ratchet, and then it's just a simple lefty loosey uh, to take this off. Go ahead and brace the blade just by holding it and as you go you can actually remove the bolt entirely. Now once we have that backing out you're gonna pull the bolt off and then the cover plate. That plate helps keep the, uh, the blade oriented and then the blade just pulls right off. Now as we take a look at it this one's been on the mower for a couple of years and you can actually start to look at it and see uh, that the blades themselves are really chopped up and uh, no longer going to be functioning right. You can absolutely get these sharpened, I know people do it, uh, but at the same time it was about $15 to get the replacement blade and I wanted to get the yard work done so it was a lot easier just to go in and pick up a new one. Well. Let's go ahead and put that aside so that way we can start to put on the new blade. First things first, go ahead and take the packaging off. Just cut it right down the center and that should allow us to start to pull the plastic off of the blade. As you do that, we now have the blade out of the packaging and we need to take the safety warning stickers and display stickers off too. Now that we have those off, we can start to install it. But first thing I want to show you is on the replacement blade, it's going to say right here uh, in the center that this side is towards the grass. Now that's important to know because you want to make sure that the rotation of the blade is correct. So if yours says that, make sure to follow it, but also reinstall the same way you took it off. But so we've placed it right back onto the spindle. I'll zoom in to show you what we have going on here now. Uh, but it's right back onto the spindle coming out of the motor. We put that locating plate that uh, helps keep it oriented and our bolt. We're gonna just slide that right in and you can start to tighten this up by hand. Uh, and as you start to get a little bit tighter, that's when we'll have to take the, uh, the socket and the ratchet to be able to tighten up. So again, we're just gonna turn this, brace ourselves against the blade and it's righty tighty to tighten the uh, bolt back in. And as you go up, you do wanna put a fair amount of force on there. You don't wanna break anything, but you want it snug enough to be sure that it's not going to loosen up while you're using the motor. After that, all you have left is to flip the lawnmower back over and you're ready to test it out.